Fan's always been intensely curious about things he doesn't know about or new things. And that curiosity, you couple that with his drive, gives him the recipe to be an amazing leader and visionary. We grew up together in Fresno. One of the first interactions I had with him, we were skateboarding in uh, his little complex where his father lived. Just watching him on that skateboard, he wasn't even that good, but he would have stayed out there all night getting better. Ben and I connected really quickly. We played football together at Yale. He was just dedicated to excellence and, and he was gonna bring this higher level of competition and uh, help everybody around him improve. Growing up, my dream was always to play in the NFL. Being drafted was one of the greatest moments of my life. Being able to play at that level, I learned so much about myself and so much about what it takes to do something at the highest level. What does it actually take to master your craft? Being around coaches and players, it just pushed me to be the best player that I could be. Getting cut was the lowest moment in my life because you had worked your entire life to get something and then boom, it's gone in an instant. If when you're cut, your income's affected, your life's affected. I never wanted to have that feeling again of somebody having complete control over your life. That was one of the reasons that motivated me to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to have more control of my own destiny. He said, hey, I'm gonna open up this Mexican grill. I realized the importance of education when I had a business that I had started without an education. There was no secret as to why this business was failing. And I came to a point of decision and I said, you know what, I know there's more for my life. I have to take a different approach. That's when we came together and said, we know that a lot of people have been very successful with real estate. The great thing about real estate investing is you can flip properties and make money in the short term. And then you can also buy and hold properties and create long-term wealth where you're not having to trade your time for money. I had been through high school and I went to a good college, but I didn't have a financial education. I didn't have a business education. I didn't know how to make money and manage money. I didn't know how to invest. And all of these principles I realized were lacking in the traditional educational school system. I was gonna get educated first and that gave me the confidence to know what I was doing, overcome the fear and go out there and be successful. Than and I flew across the country to a five-day training. It gave me the vision for how to build a business, how to think like an entrepreneur and how to create systems that can transform your business into something right. bigger than you ever imagined. And as we did that, a light bulb went off. If I could find the right people to guide me, if I could find a peer group of other people who would inspire me just like the players did, it would push me to achieve those goals. And that's what I've loved about real estate is it's very much a team. You know, when I got cut, I had a family and a team and all of a sudden it was gone. Real estate allowed me to build that team again. The start of our business was very exciting. Everything was new and every day we were learning something different. Every time I did an activity, I would document it and I'd say, how can I replace myself? How can I shift my time from working in the business to actually working on the business. I was just blown away by what they were doing. They presented me an opportunity to work with them. I decided that I was gonna make the commitment. Besides marrying my wife, it was the best decision I ever made. When you have a good process, you can plug people in that can ultimately end up doing it better than you. He gave me a list of uh, houses that they were working on, and he handed me a series of checklists. From that, we developed a lot of the initial rehabbing systems that we have today. Well, that's what we've been doing over and over, it can yeah. take you from one deal to hundreds of deals when you replicate it. You know, after a, a few years of, of buying and selling houses and we were doing a lot of projects, we had an opportunity to be on TV. Come on in, guys. My name is Stan Merrill. So we had created something that was unique, that had value that other people looked at and said, I'd love to have a business that, that looks like that. We're gonna write an offer right here on this thing. And that was the initial seed of how Fortune Builders started. When we created Fortune Builders, we wanted to help people see a bigger picture. Here's where you want to get to. You don't want to learn just how to make an offer. You want to learn how to think about the business from the top down and create an offer system that then you plug somebody else into. Well, everyone has a dream, a vision, but along the way, many different times they get off course. And a coach who has more experience 
can say, hey, you're doing things inefficiently. You're not being strategic with your time. Try doing it this way. One of the first couple students we started coaching were named Alex Afakis and Greg Cohen. They had never done a deal. They were brand new. I remember coaching them through buying a single family house. They were on their way to the title company and they were both nervous and they weren't sure if they were making the right decision. I just said, you guys know what you can accomplish. This is the first step of many. And now, over a thousand deals later, the business they've created, the amount of people they've impacted, what they've done is, is truly a testament. If we educate that person to live a better life in the sense of purpose, in the sense of living our best version of selves and contributing to others, it creates this wave, a tidal wave of empowerment uh, across many people many generations. And that's what our community thrives off of. It is absolutely our purpose to teach other people to do what we've done. We have thousands of investors around the country. We've seen people go from just an idea to having a business that is up and running that has allowed them to leave a job or give them more options in life. It's really amazing to see the transformation, the relationships ultimately drive what we do. It's not the goals that you even hit, it's the person you become through the process of working towards those goals. In the NFL, you're constantly having to make decisions. Am I gonna take a risk or am I gonna play it safe? And I look back at my career and there was a lot of time I did play it safe and I think that's one of the reasons I got cut. When you start a business, you're never going to learn unless you get in the game, unless you step over that white line start applying the principles and knowing that you're going to be further ahead than somebody who's sitting on the sideline letting fear control their life. You can have the life you want, but you have to be a participant in it. And you have to do things that other people won't do. That is a fortune builder.